we learnt about the get pass library we learnt about using the punctuation method in the string library we also saw how we can check for at least one number in a string so these small little things will really help you in your coding life and also during your competitive interview questions hello everyone welcome to piling in in today's video we are going to build a password validator big deal right anyone can build a password validator i mean check for alphabets check for numbers check for at least one special character that's it right and your password validator is done however that is not the intention of this video through this video i want to bring some concepts to you that you may not be aware of instead of using the input function to prompt the user to enter a password we can use the get pass library which does pretty much the same thing except the input is not echo to the console like with the input method or we can also use the string library in python to get all the special characters without having to hard code all the special characters in our python code so small things like this really help you improve your code and in this video we are going to focus on these small little things so let's get started so here are the rules for building our password validator number 1 should not contain any space number 2 the length of the password should be between 5 and 10 characters and 5 and 10 are inclusive number 3 should have at least one special character and number 4 should have at least one number very simple so let's get started now the first thing that we are going to look into is the get pass library so how to replace the input method with the get pass library so from get pass import get pass now it works pretty much the same as input you know so here i can say password equal to get pass and then here i can say enter your password right let's now go ahead and test this and before we do that let's print the password so we see what password we are entering so let's go ahead and run this so now here you can see it is prompting me to enter my password let's say i put lenin1992 but wait a second you can see lenin1992 can't you the whole idea of using get pass was to get rid of this echoing system so that people don't look at the password that you are entering what is happening here let's press enter okay so here you can see get pass is pretty much close to using the input method but we are using get pass for a reason the reason is that we don't want to see this let's go ahead to item so here if i run python password validator.py and if i run this here you can see on the command line it is behaving a bit differently here you can see a key symbol which means now if i enter any password you cannot see it if i press enter here you can see what is the password that i have entered lenin at the rate 1992 you know so this is the advantage of get pass but we are not able to emulate that on pycharm all right so let's go ahead and see why we are not able to do that and then fix it so now here go ahead to run and then edit configurations and then here you can see in the execution tab there is something called emulate terminal in output console check that apply and then press okay so now let's go ahead and run this again and now you see it is prompting me to enter my password bit differently now if i enter my password you won't be able to tell what password i have entered if i press enter this is the password that i have entered you know so because of the print statement we are getting to see the password that i have entered this is the advantage of using the get pass library so try to use it in your python code wherever you can instead of the input method so now we are done with the get pass thing we are able to input your our passwords let's now write our password validator uh, met, uh, function so that we can input all the rules that are required to create our password validator so i can say def password validator and then pass in the password here let's call the password validator function and then the pass and pass in the password let's also put put a print statement here so that we can see everything that we return 
and let's now go rule by rule you know the first rule is should contain no space so i can say should contain no space all right now how to check if there are no spaces in our password i can say if empty space empty space you have to give a space here in password then we return a statement right here and the password validator function does not run anymore so i can say return there is a space in your password right so if there is a space it is going to return this statement and then the function will stop here let's look at our second condition so the second condition is length of the password should be between 5 and 10 so here i can say so i can say if length password not in range 5 to 11 i hope you understand why i'm doing 5 to 11 because the last number is not inclusive so it will take from 5 to 10 so if length of password not in range 5 to 11 i can return password we don't need a bracket here password should be between 5 and 10 characters all right let's now look at the third law so should have at least one special character okay now how to do this we can have a hard-coded list here which has all the special characters or what we can do is here you can see in the string library if we search for punctuation so it returns string of ascii characters which are considered punctuation characters in the c local so basically it returns all the special characters that we are thinking of so let's go ahead and try this let's comment this out for now from string import punctuation let's comment this also we are just checking print punctuation so now if i run this you see it has all the special characters here so basically it reads as a string so now to check for special characters i can do something like this special chars equal to true for x in password if x in punctuation all right so now what it will do is now we have a special characters variable which stores a list so every time there is a, a special character we'll have a list of true here i can say if length of special characters is equal to equal to zero return your password should have at least one special character so let's now look at the fourth rule our password should have at least one number so for that i can use a python built-in method called as is digit right so here i can say nums equal to i can use the any method and then pass in here x dot is digit for x in password right so now if any of the any of the characters in the password is a digit then this will return true and then this any method if there, there is even one true in the entire uh, generator here then it is going to return num says true right so here i can say if not num as in if num is false uh, not num but nums so if nums is false return you should have at least one number all right so now if none of this uh, if none of these conditions are true so if our password passes all of them we can return your password password is correct right and let's use an f string here all right so now let's go ahead and try this out so here i can say let's try with uh, different passwords so let's let me first try out with a space lenny 
so I put in Lenin space N and there is a space in your password so it's not validated let's try it again and this time we'll use uh, the length of the password let's try to put a password that is more than 10 and so I entered this password and it says password password should be between 5 and 10 characters great so first two conditions are working let's try the special character one so if I enter this so okay I entered Lenin 1992 it says your password should have at least one special character and finally our numbers if I say Lenin at the rate so I entered Lenin at the rate QW it says you should have at least one number so basically all the four conditions are being taken care of now let's try to enter the right password so that should work so if I enter Lenin at the rate 1992 it says your password Lenin at the rate 1992 is correct so uh, I hope you learned something from this we learned about the get pass library we learned about using the punctuation method in the string library we also saw how we can check for at least one number in a string so these small little things will really help you in your coding life and also during your competitive interview questions. Now the next step is to solve an additional challenge for this Python 30 course. Now check out the GitHub repo where I have updated the rules and I have added another rule. Basically you have to check for an alphabet. So check out the question and make sure to submit your PR. I will see you in the next Python 30 course.